Helen Adams Keller was born on June 27, 1880, in West Tuscumbia, Alabama. At the tender age of 19 months, she lost her sight and hearing due to an unknown illness. Despite these challenges, Helen communicated using home signs until the age of seven when she met her first teacher, Anne Sullivan. Sullivan acted as Keller's lifelong companion and taught her language, including reading and writing. Keller went on to attend specialist and mainstream schools and eventually became the first deafblind person in the United States to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree from Radcliffe College. Throughout her life, Keller was a prolific writer and author, penning 14 books and countless speeches and essays on a wide range of topics, from animals to Mahatma Gandhi. She campaigned for various causes, including disability rights, women's suffrage, labor rights, and world peace. Keller joined the Socialist Party of America in 1909 and was a founding member of the American Civil Liberties Union. Her autobiography, The Story of My Life, publicized her education and life with Sullivan and was adapted into a play and film. Keller's impact on today's world is immeasurable. She worked tirelessly for the American Foundation for the Blind from 1924 until her death in 1968. During this time, she traveled extensively, both in the United States and internationally, advocating for those with vision loss. Keller's advocacy and writing have left a lasting legacy, inspiring countless individuals to overcome adversity and fight for equality and social justice. Her birthplace, Ivy Green, has been designated as a National Historic Landmark and operates as a house museum. Keller's impact continues to be celebrated annually on Helen Keller Day. She was posthumously inducted into the Alabama Women's Hall of Fame in 1971 and the Alabama Writers Hall of Fame in 2015. That was a glimpse into Helen Keller's life. Comment to suggest new story. Like and follow for more.